What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some Adventure Quest news. I used to be Adventure Quest World news, but now we have AQ3D. So I will also be doing news on that in these videos. I have been doing that in the past, if you haven't noticed. And I will be doing Adventure Quest 3D news in the future too. So this is your spot for AQW and AQ3D news. Uh, I'm not going to do any other AQ game or Adventure Quest games unless they come out with a new one. Like, uh, they do mobile games. Seems like they have a new one every few months. But, welcome back to the video, guys. We're going to be going over all the news that happened this week. We do this video every Thursday. We do the news every Thursday, and we have info on the release and a few other things. Quite a few other things. So, let's get into the video. Alright, so I just watched back the intro. I look like I just woke up because uh, maybe maybe I did. Who, who knows? Who, who, who can tell me when I can wake up? Alright, the first the first bit of news we have for today is this awesome looking set and uh, pets, I guess. Two pets and a sword pet. It looks like a sword pet right there in the middle. Um, these armors look very cool. Um, I'm not sure what part's the armor and what part's the helmet at this point. Um, maybe that part's the helmet, that part's the armor, they kind of just go right together really well. So these look really cool, and those weapons look insane. Uh, I can't wait till these are in the game. It says all this weekend, oh, I gotta, whoop, there, the text at the bottom says all this weekend, incredible rewards, including, uh, that, that guy's on Twitter, Umbrella Fiend, um, what? Umbral, Umbral Fiend Gear, drops in monsters, drops from monsters, I just woke up. I'm sorry. At uh, Dark Invasion, the new release. So these are items. These are drops from the new release. I I need to wake up more. I need some coffee. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, there's some new Hero Mart items. Sorry about that. I just set my cup down on my desk. So I ordered this mouse pad. I'll be doing a review on it as soon as it shows up at my door. I don't know when that is. It says it takes like three to seven or five to seven days to ship and another two days to process it. So probably at the end of the month sometime. Uh, so along with a bunch of cool new t-shirts, including an Adventure Quest Time uh, t-shirt. I don't know if that's copyright infringement. That face looks very similar to the face in the TV show. Uh... It looks like fair use, I would say, but uh, it's a little, little, it's on the edge. And there's the Pride of the Legion, Zorback, and they also have the Can I, or No You Can't Be a Mod t-shirt, or whatever that t-shirt is, the C-Zero one. Uh, they have that back in stock also, so, and a bunch of prints too. These give you one hero point per print, and they're five bucks per print, so, and they're they're not as big as posters, of course, because it's just prints. And here's the pricing on this. Uh, you can go to HeroMart.com to order any of these things. They are real-life items, not in-game items. And, uh, yeah, I really like the mouse pad. They announced this mouse pad a long time ago, but never released it. And they finally did, so I ordered it. All right. Also, AQ3D is an open beta live on Steam right now. So I did some of my other video, but to play AQ3D, all you have to do is search Steam on uh, your browser and download the Steam client and then go AQ3D in there, hit enter, find it, and then just click play now. Yes, a lot of people in the last video I did said I left a negative review. 66% uh, of people that read the review agreed with me, so I don't know, uh, everyone can have their own opinion. Uh, but here's the review. If you want to read it, I'll just leave it on screen. Uh, or you can go to my Steam profile and find it also. And uh, there's the review I left. Uh, I thought it was a very fair review. I had this review written a few months before the game. Or not a few months. Like quite a few, quite a while before. I think I wrote this in closed beta. Uh, when they put the microtransactions in the game, I wrote this review. But I wasn't allowed to post it until the game actually went open beta. So I posted it. And uh, yeah, so... I say good things about the game and bad things about the game in the review and a lot of things that need to be changed and I need to add some more to this review also. I'll be changing the review on Steam to a positive if the game actually fixes some of the things I left in this review. Uh, but if they don't fix any of the things then I guess it'll remain negative. This review will change. I change all my reviews on Steam if the game changes. So once the game changes my review will also change. Uh, just thought I'd put that out there. So AQ3D is live. Anyone can play it for free on Steam. So go check it out. 
200 free ACs for logging in, so if you haven't logged into AQW in the past uh, week or so, I guess, your account has to be level higher, a level higher than 10, and you also had to be logged in for the past 30 days before uh, this went live. But if you logged in recently and you noticed 200 ACs in your account that you didn't already have, then uh, that's why. Uh, it's safe birthday gift. 200 free ACs. Also, if you want to not spend these ACs right now, like you could get an extra bank slot or open a chest or buy that item you want. But if you don't, if you want to save, uh, you get 500 ACs at uh, January 1st. Also, that's if you haven't been, uh, if your account hasn't been muted for more than a certain amount of time, or if you haven't, uh, yeah, it's like uh, the reward for not being toxic, I guess, basically in game. Also, this is probably the biggest news we got all week. Finally, a confirmation on the level cap increase. So I've talked about this in my last video, but I'll go over it very quickly. Uh, it's going to go up to 80 after the server rewrite rolls out. So someone's going to ask me in the comments, Hey Corey, uh, what, uh, what, uh, I know you work for Arctic Search Entertainment. Uh, well, I, I don't work for... Like, I know you work for... The, okay, but uh, yeah, I don't know when the rewrite's happening, guys. Uh, it'll happen when it happens. But when it does happen, the level cap shortly after the rewrite is finished will be increased to 80. And then in March, uh, same month as Dage's birthday, that's a good event, uh, we'll be getting up to 85. So that's a 20 level increase, 85 is, to the current level cap. 20 more levels of damage and health added to our characters. That's a lot more powerful. That means all the base content that's in the game right now will be easily destroyed uh, once you get up to the new level cap. So, like, things that are hard right now might be easy uh, when you hit this new level cap. We'll see how the scaling works with that and how, the, how, they how they handle the new level increase. Here is this week's release. The Infernal Invasion in Dracovia. Very, very nice looking invasion. So, we, we have art. I have art for this. Let me show you it. So, this is what one of the maps will look like, I guess. Uh, or is this an old map? Um, I don't know, but it's what one of them look like and they also Alina also reminds people to play through the event if you haven't already go through the Sword Haven, Dracovia, Doomwood, Paladin's Trial, Shadowfall, do all that. I'm sure 90% of the people who are watching this video have already finished this stuff, but if you have not, make sure you do that so you can play the event tomorrow. And here are some items it looks like these are wearable items that cape looks really nice hopefully that i can get that somehow uh for the event so that is all we have for today for the news hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment down below what you're most excited for i'm definitely excited for the level cap increase and um the items the weapons that are coming this weekend those look good um, other than that, a little bit of news about myself, um, I don't know why, I guess they stopped construction for a few minutes, uh, that's why I can record this video, I was, I was thinking I might not even be able to record a video today, and why I haven't been streaming all this week is because there's a bedroom, uh, our basement's unfinished, so if you don't want unfinished basement, it means what it says, unfinished, it's not walls or anything in the basement, it's just cement, so they're building a bedroom next to my room in the basement, so there's like, uh, saws going off and hammers and it's very loud even in my room even with headphones on in my room it's very very loud and I've got a headache for the past few days from it uh, so that's why I haven't been streaming all this week if you were curious why that has not been happening usually I'll stream a few times during the week and I haven't streamed at all this week and we'll see about tomorrow um, the stream might be late tomorrow I'll keep you up to date on Twitter uh, because if there's chainsaws not chainsaws but like skill saws and if they're cutting wood and like hammering nails and stuff, um, that's not going to sound very nice on stream. So we'll see what happens tomorrow at the stream. I'll keep you up on Twitter. I'll probably have a Twitter video up uh, on Twitter tomorrow evening, uh, right when I should be streaming. I usually stream at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. That's when the stream starts. That's when it has started for the past few weekends. Might be a little late depending on what they're working on tomorrow. I'll, I'll talk to them and see if I can maybe get them to stop construction a little early, uh, but we don't know. I don't know. I don't know what will happen there, but we will see, and I'll see you guys all in the live stream tomorrow at 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. Other than that, I'll keep you up to date on Twitter. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, I already said this. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. 
I wear my sunglasses at night. Mm, 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 mm. See you guys all in the next video. I wear my sunglasses at night. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow all my social media links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, I stream on Twitch sometimes, I post all the videos to Facebook, and Twitter is where I talk about dumb shit and also post videos and tell you when I'm streaming there. So if you want to follow me there, go ahead and do so. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, click the top right corner for the last video I uploaded. Bye.